Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss control system topic controllers and compensators. It will be a it is the last class, I think. It is the last class of control systems. Okay. Controllers and compensators. These controllers and compensators are used to obtain desired performance specifications. These are used to obtain system desired performance specifications. Controllers and compensators. What are the uh, main uh, controllers and compensators are nothing but main controllers are nothing but proportional controller, P controller, integral controller. Deri uh, differential controller and uh, PD controller that means a proportional differential controller PA controller nothing but proportional integral controller and PID proportional integral and differential controllers these are the controllers okay these are the main controllers and coming to the effect of uh, this uh, PD controller that is nothing but proportional derivative controller proportional derivative controller this PD controllers improves the damping improves damping and reduces maximum overshoot and reduces maximum overshoot that means uh, damping improves means uh, maximum overshoot uh, will be decreases okay effect of PD controllers first one, first one is what is the effect of a PD controller on the system? It improves the damping and reduces the maximum overshoot. Maximum overshoot. And uh, this effect of this PD controller, bandwidth increases. Bandwidth increases. Bandwidth increases means uh, uh, speed also increases. That means how the speed will be increased? By effect of this PD controller, uh, it reduces rise time and settling time. It reduces rise time and settling time. As the time Red, uh, uh, decreases means uh, as time decreases means speed will be increases speed will be increases that means uh, uh, as speed will be increases means it is mainly depend upon transient response so the transient uh, speed increases means transient response is improved transient response is improved so by the effect of uh, PD controller transient response is improved by the effect of PD controller bandwidth increases and also reduces uh, time that is rise time and settling time and speed increases speed increases means transient response is improved transient response is improved and it also improves so gain margin face margin and uh, resonant peak MR is nothing but resonant peak it is the uh, one of uh, specification for frequency analysis frequency analysis it improves gain margin face margin and also resonant peak and uh, the main disadvantages of this uh, PD controller noise may enter into the system noise may enter into the system noise may enter into the system there is a chance to noise uh, enter into the system and the effect of this PA controller proportional integral controller the effect of this proportional integral controller integral 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 term is nothing but 1 by s power n 1 by s power n that is uh, 1 by s power n if we add 1 by 1 by s means uh, the type of the system is increases type of system is increases type is increases I, um, I already told in the previous class if type increases means the error will be decreases error will be decreases that is steady state error will be decreases that means it improves the steady state response it improves the steady state response due to this effect of pa controller that is nothing but integral if uh, type of the system is increased as type of the system is increased means the steady state error will be decreases the steady state error will be decreases that means as error will be decreases means uh, steady state response is improved steady state response is improved and in this uh, this effect of this pa controller bandwidth decreases bandwidth decreases but uh, by the effect of pd controller we can increase the bandwidth here bandwidth is decreased bandwidth decreases and uh, the time also 
increases rise time is increases as time increases means uh, uh, the study uh, the transient response will be slower the transient response will be slower that is speed will be decreases so transient response will be slower okay and the effect of this PID, PID controller proportional integral uh, differential controller uh, differential or derivative controller it adds both advantages of PID and PI controller it has uh, both advantages of uh, PID and PI controllers okay and coming to the lead or lag compensator lead or lag compensator and the gc of s that is uh, gc of s compensator g of s uh, gc of s equal to 1 plus ats by 1 plus ts it is in the form of 1 plus ats by 1 plus ts for this angle of gc of s is nothing but pi pi equal to tan inverse of uh, omega at by uh, tan inverse of omega at minus tan inverse of omega t tan inverse of omega a t minus tan inverse of omega t by differentiating this pi with respect to omega we can get the maximum value of omega we can get the maximum value of omega. for finding the maximum value of omega okay we have to differentiate this uh, pi with respect to omega it is d pi by dw at omega equal to omega omega m equal to 0 we can uh, we differentiate this uh, and equating the 0 we can get omega m that is maximum value of omega equal to 1 by t root a very very important it is the maximum value of omega that is maximum phase lead or la lead or lag frequency maximum phase lead frequency or lag frequency omega m equal to 1 by t root of a t root of a and uh, the value of pi m the value of pi m that is angle of uh, gc of s equal to tan inverse of a minus 1 by 2 root a tan inverse of a minus 1 by 2 root a or nothing but tan inverse of a minus 1 by omega m 1 by uh, nothing, uh, sorry 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 uh, pi m equal to tan inverse of a minus 1 by 2 root a or equal to sine sin of a minus 1 by a plus 1 sin of a minus 1 by a plus 1 and the sum of characteristics of this lead and lag controller are lead and lead and lag controllers are if the transfer function is nothing but uh, in the form of 1 plus ats by 1 plus uh, ts for uh, lead controller this value of a the a value is greater than 1 the a value is greater than 1 for lag controller a value is less than 1 a value is less than 1 very very important each and every line in this uh, table are very very important and uh, we know that pi m value sin of uh, sin inverse of a minus 1 by uh, a plus 1 is an inverse of a minus 1 by a plus 1 that is uh, for this pi m is positive for lead controller pi m is negative for lag controller pi m value is uh, positive for uh, lead controller and negative for lag controller and coming to the pole zero plot the pole zero plot for lead controller is first of all pole and zero this is a pole zero plot for lead controller for this lag controller it is a zero pole zero pole that means uh, uh, zero is nearer to the origin for this uh, lead controller here pole is nearer to the origin for lag controller very very important pole zero plot for this pole zero plot zero is nearer to the lead controller pole is nearer to the lag controller okay and coming to the filter coming to the filter a uh, lead controller is a high pass filter very very important filter is a no, for lead controller is a uh, act as a, it is a high pass filter lag controller is a low pass filter and coming to the electrical network the for uh, electrical network for lead controller is likewise and for lag controller is likewise here the value t equal to r1 t equal to r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 into c this is the R2. R1, R2 by R1 plus R2 into C. And the value of A equal to R1 plus R2 by R2. And A value must be greater than 1. We know that uh, A value is greater than 1 for lead controller. And here T equal to R1 plus R2 into C. And A equal to R2 by R1 plus R2. R2 by R1 plus R2. And coming to the uh, magnitude plot, it is leading. It is leading. 
for this lagging it is lagging and this is a face flat this is a face flat for uh, lag controller and coming to the effect in case of lead controller bandwidth increases bandwidth increases means time will be decreases time will be decreases means speed will be increases speed will be speed will be increases as speed increases means transient response is increased and coming to the effects of this lag controller it is a bandwidth uh, decreases that means uh, time increases time increases means speed decreases speed decreases that means transient response is slower transient response is slower okay and coming to the examples uh, of this uh, compensators and controllers maximum phase lead of the compensator gc of s equal to 1 plus 0.5 s into 1 plus 0.5 s by 1 plus 0.25 s is dash we have to find out maximum phase lead maximum phase lead that is nothing but phi m this is a maximum phase lead nothing but phi m that is we know that sin inverse of a minus 1 by a plus 1 for this he has given uh, 1 plus uh, he has given 1 plus 0.5 s by 1 plus 0.25 s equal to uh, it is in the form of 1 plus 80 s by 1 plus t s compare this uh, equations we can get 80 equal to 0.5 in the place of 80 here 0.5 in the place of t it is 0.5 so t equal to 0.25 that means here a equal to a equal to nothing but uh, uh, here uh, we 8 equal to 0.5 t equal to 0.25 substitute this value t value in this uh, uh, in this equation 0.25 you can get a equal to 0.5 by 0.25 that is equal to a equal to 2 a equal to 2 that is 80 by t you can also in this way uh, a equal to 2 uh, okay uh, next one what is the maximum phase lead maximum phase lead the formula for uh, maximum phase lead is sin inverse of a minus 1 by a plus 1 substitute the a value that is uh, 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is sin inverse of 1 by 3 sin inverse of 1 by 3 is a maximum phase lead and next one the pole zero plot of uh, certain controller is uh, dash certain controller is dash here he has given uh, one uh, diagram and we have to find out pole zero plot pole zero plot he has given uh, like this in this way the diag he has given the diagram like this and we have to find out the controller which controller that is lead lag lag lead or any controller here he has given just to have to write write down pole zero pole zero means it is a lead controller pole zero means lead controller i already explained uh, in the table in the table for pole zero plot for lead controller is a pole and a zero for lag controller, zero and pole, zero and pole. For um, first of all, re remember this only lead controller. For lead control, it is a pole zero. Okay, the remaining zero pole. Pole zero means lead controller. Zero pole means lag controller. Lag controller. For this uh, final controller, we have to we have to write from this way, from this side to this side. That is uh, lag lead, lag lead. So the controller is lag lead controller lag lead controller first of all if it is a pole zero write down lead it is a zero pole write down lag and the final controller uh, the for this uh, pole zero plot it is from this way that is lag lead lag lead controller okay and the next the magnitude plot of below controller is it has given the controller we have to uh, write down the we have to draw the uh, pole zero plot here he has given one diagram this is the magnitude plot uh, this is the magnitude plot of controller that is here zero this rising means one zero one in this way that means uh, first of all it is a zero so for this zero we have to write down zero we have to draw zero and for two it is a pole it is a pole and next to 3 it is also pole 3 is a pole and also next to fourth point fourth point is 0 0 that means uh, uh, pole 0 means pole 0 means lead and 0 pole means lag 
you can write this from this uh, from this side to this side that is lead lag controller it is a lead lag controller lead lead, lead lag controller once again this uh, first part and uh, fourth one these two are these two are zeros these two are zeros and two and three are poles two and three are poles zero first of all zero and for two is pole for three is pole and four is zero four is zero it is value of zero zero axis means zero so we can write a pole zero means lead and zero pole means lag so finally you can write from this side to this side uh, from uh, right side to left side that is lead lag controller lead lag controller and also and also lead lag controller is for uh, lead lag controller is a band pass filter it is a band pass filter that means it allows certain frequency band only so it is a band pass filter and lag lead controller is a band reject filter band reject filter or band elimination filter very very important lead lag controller is a band pass filter lag lead controller is a band reject filter band reject filter and one more example regarding to this uh, compensators the transfer function of a the transfer function of a compensator is uh, gc of s equal to s plus a by s plus b here uh, we have to find out uh, GF, gc of s is a lead con least compensator if has given some uh, options and next one the face of the above lead compensator maximum to dash if he has given the transfer function like this way if it is a lead compensator a must be less than b for lead simple technique and a is greater than b for lag a is less than b for lead a is greater than b for lag and uh, the second question uh, the face of the above lead controller the face of the above lead controller omega m equal to root of a b this is the shortcut tricks you can also find out uh, some conventional way also here are the main shortcuts that means uh, a less than b just to find out uh, in the options uh, what is the a less than b here uh, um, neglect uh, signs uh, sign values that is positive or negative neglect like that just uh, here uh, in the first option only a is less than b that is the first option is correct G surface is lead compensator if a less than b that is a equal to 1 b equal to is a lead compensator you can also find out this um, we know that uh, we have to find out the angle of this gc surface for this angle of this gc surface is nothing but uh, if it is positive the system is lead controller if it is negative the system is lag controller the system is lag controller here uh, find outing the angle it is tan inverse of omega a by tan inverse of omega b omega by b yeah, it is positive means it must be a must be less than b then only it is a positive that is uh, a value equal to 1 b equal to 2 or simply by using shortcut uh, a if a is less than b that is a lead controller a is greater than b it is a lag controller and face of this is omega m equal to root of a b that is root of a b a equal to 1 b equal to 2 so omega m equal to root to omega m equal to 2 to in this way you can find out uh, uh, any problems and uh, all the all the topics belongs to control systems are completed okay in next class i will uh, discuss network filters and transmission lines network filters and transmission lines okay friends thank you all the best.